from the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey, Pilgrim, with notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Ma Day, 15th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn, 11th day in the trees. For the first time since entering the woods, I met another person, I think. It was a small creature, only slightly larger than Rising Whistle Two Clicks had been. It had a long, tube-like body with six long, attenuated limbs ending in three fingers. It moved as though it had no bones. It had two eyes with large black pupils and two dark spots above them that might have been another pair of eyes. Its mouth was just a slash across the oval head. It had no nose. I would have taken it for an animal if it had not covered itself in old, graying rags. Note, I do believe this is a larval sphingid. The young ones tend to be very shy until they've metamorphosed into their adult form. Once they have the scaled wings and feathery antennae their species is famous for, they become much more daring and attracted to bright lights, of course. It was shambling forward on four of its limbs when I came across it. It stopped short when it noticed me and raised itself up on two limbs, keeping four free. We regarded each other for a moment. And then I said, Hello. It fell backwards, catching itself on its arms, and then scrambled away as fast as it could, backwards and upside down. It was in the bushes in a trice, and I could hear it moving up the trees. I wonder why it was so afraid of me. Perhaps it simply didn't understand me. I also saw an interesting creature, if only for a moment. Suja and I were bending down to a stream to drink, when we saw a small furry shape leave the water momentarily. Its short fur was a dark brown, and it had short, stout limbs ending in webbed feet. Its tail was flat and like a paddle. I might have supposed it was a relative of the otter save that it had a beak instead of a snout. It was a broad, flat beak, like a water bird's. Before I could get a closer look at it, it suddenly dashed back into the water and swam away before I could see any more of it. Note, almost certainly a platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, also called a duckbill or watermole. What a curious place this is.